Hi everyone, Antoinette here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to talk about the difference between being direct and being rude. Now, you're probably watching this video because either you are afraid that if you are direct that you will be perceived or, you're, or you'll come across as rude, or you've been told in the past that you are rude and you feel like you're just being direct. So let's talk about the difference between the two. When you are direct with someone, you are basically being very specific in your communication, very specific in what you say and what you ask. There's not this vagueness where you're wanting the person to try to figure out what you mean because you're afraid of being too direct or you're afraid of being seen as rude. Being direct, there's nothing wrong with that. That is being very specific and while you're being specific, you are showing outwardly respect for the other person. You're showing it through your facial expressions, through your body language, through your tone of voice, and by the words that you use. And the reason why I say outwardly is because maybe you still respect the person inwardly, but if you're not showing those outward signs of respect, then they may take it as you are being rude. Rudeness really has nothing to do with being direct. You can be rude to someone and be indirect. Rudeness is when you're lacking the respect for the other person. That is when you're showing that you don't respect the person either through a harsh or sarcastic tone of voice, through facial expressions that may be passive aggressive, such as glaring or rolling of the eyes or averting eye contact or showing that you're really irritated or your tone of voice or the words you use. So what does it look like when you're direct but yet not rude? It looks like that once again you're being very specific in what you're saying or what you're asking and you want a positive outcome for you obviously and the other person. It is more of a win-win situation. It's not where you get what you want and the other person loses or the other person is out. It's a positive outcome, hopefully, for both of you. At least you come at it with that intent. When you're direct, you're focused on a solution while making the other person not feel bad about themselves. When you're rude, you're focused on a solution, but you also want the other person to feel bad in the process about themselves. Here's another way that you can be direct without being rude, and that is use I versus you. For instance, I found some errors on this report versus you made some errors on this report. You're letting the other person know that there's a problem without directly putting them down. So you're focused on a solution without blaming the other person, but pointing out specifically the issue that needs to be addressed. Now, if you're liking this video, I hope that you will subscribe to my channel for more videos on confidence and communication. And a great way to be direct without being rude is to show the person friendliness and kindness after you have addressed the situation. That way, they'll know that it's the situation that you're addressing and you're still respecting them as a person. Now, if you err on that other side of not being direct enough because you're afraid that it'll come across as rude, start really reflecting on the words that you're using. Are you softening everything up to where the person doesn't really know what, you, what you're saying or what you want or they're not taking you seriously because you're softening it up so much. Sometimes people feel like, well, if I'm vague, then that's being nice. Being vague is being vague. It's not nice to be vague because the other person has to then try to interpret what it is that you're meaning. And so a lot of times if you're dropping hints or you're talking in generalities, then you're not going to get the solution that you want because they don't really know what you mean in the first place. A good place to start internally is by asking yourself, do I respect this person enough to be direct with them so that they won't have to try to figure out what I mean? And do I respect them enough that I am not going to be rude, I'm going to show them respect through my body language, through my facial expressions, 
tone of voice and the words that I use so that there's no question left for interpretation. If you have liked this video, I hope that you'll share it with others.